The city of Winter Park wants to make it clear that homes in the new historic districts can be demolished, but there will be another level of scrutiny. In the past 30 years in beautiful Winter Park, 60 homes have been demolished that could have been considered historic. And there have been two close calls. One came in 2001 with Casa Feliz, built in 1933, designed by architect Gamble Rogers. The historic home was spared the wrecking ball and moved across the street, where it's used for everything from funerals to weddings. It almost was demolished. And just your reaction. It's very sad because I might actually get married here. Preservationists were so eager to save the Capon House, which was built in 1885, that they raised the money to cut it in half and move it in two pieces across Lake Osceola to its new home next to a museum. To prevent more historic homes from being destroyed, the Winter Park City Commission recently revised an ordinance that now makes it easier for Winter Park neighborhoods to have their area declared historic. It used to take two-thirds vote approval from the neighborhood to pass. Now it takes 50 percent plus one. Part of the charm here in the city of Winter Park is its heritage, is its history. So this ordinance does help protect those homes and those structures that are declared historic. In anticipation of possibly more homes being declared historic, there's been a spike in applications to demolish homes. When you compare the last four months of 2014 to 2015, the number of applications has nearly doubled from 17 to 32. Katie Campbell's home was built in 1926. She adores it, but sees the appeal of trading in the old for new. Everything is perfect. Everything is wonderful. At least when I wake up, I have character. And others believe the improved economy is what inspired the spike in permit applications. Live in Orange County, Michelle Meredith, West 2 News.